marketing my school program um, is really important because I think there's a common misconception about school food, um, you know, lunch ladies, things like that. I think they need to know the, the current, the modern reality of, of school food, how, how hard we work, how everything is from scratch, um, that we really care about nutrition and feeding the children. Um, I think that needs to get out there. I think there needs to be a new perception. I think marketing the school food program is huge uh, for a couple of reasons. I think, you know, there's years and years of stereotypes and stigmas associated with school food, and there are people like me that are so passionate about it, and I just, I, I want to break through those stereotypes, and I want to get everybody else passionate about it. I want people to see that school food is changing for the better. Well, at first when Rainey called me, I was a little like, oh my gosh, another thing I have to do? And then I got to thinking, you know, we really need to get all this new stuff out there that we're doing. I mean, I'm excited about it, so how do I tell everybody else that I'm excited? Rainey had some wonderful ideas, um, so I started looking at things differently. And so marketing is very important for your program, because how else are you going to toot your own horn? Another tool I've used is social media. That is huge right now. Parents are on Facebook, students are on Facebook. The school already had a Facebook page, so it was already right there for me. All I had to do was utilize it. So now, every day, we post a beautiful picture of the menu item. Um, parents get to see that, you know, kids get to see that. Um, when we started our farm to school program, we were able to market that. Um, when we got an EPA award, we were able to market that. It was the perfect way to, I could just quickly send off an email with the great news or send off a picture to my IT. They posted on Facebook, boom, done. It would just take me a couple minutes. Hugely impactful, but so simple. I had no idea until after I did the marketing how impactful that was going to be. Um, I had these community lunches where I invited police and firemen and uh, city officials, um, the school board, to come and, and eat our food and see what we do. Um, and that changed the perception, um, changed the, the dialogue about our school. We're the only school in a small town. Word gets around and we finally had a lot of positive buzz going through the community and it really helped. The Live Well Toolbox online has been great because I didn't have to reinvent the wheel. I, I do not have a degree in marketing. I don't know how to draw up the uh, you know letters to parents um, or press releases, um, things like that. All those tools were at my fingertips um, and I, I utilized it all. That way I could market as well as do my own job without it being too difficult or cumbersome as far as time goes. One challenge would be, on a personal level, patience, um, wanting to see results right away. Sometimes you have to be patient and just let those results come in. And if you take those baby steps, you will start to see results. I would say, you know, we had some challenges um, just with finding the time to do it, for sure. Don't have really a dedicated position to do like social media and that kind of thing, or marketing in general. Um, so that's, that's been a challenge, but I think we've seen that the efforts pay off and a little bit can really go a long way. I think too we've had just some challenges with um, support in the community and really um, administrative support too, just kind of getting that buy-in um, ha has been a challenge too. So. Our marketing has, um, has come a long way. I'd say it still has a long way to go, but 
Um, we've, we've had a few um, things that have been really great. The, the corn shucking contest was awesome when we brought in corn uh, from a local farmer and we turned it into a contest between the football team and the band um, at a high school and we had the local newspaper there and it was really one of the first conversations about the changes that we wanted to make with more fresh and local food. So it was a great way to kind of put that out there um, that, you know, changes are coming. So it was, it was a really, really fun event, engaged a lot of people and just, you know, stirred up some conversation, I think, about the changes that we wanted to make. Um, I would say the other thing would be the salad bars. Um, we got really excited um, as part of Live Well to get on with the Let's Move Salad Bars to Schools. And then we kind of were deflated because we were like, oh, it's going to take forever. And, and, you know, it was a little disappointing. But then once we had a few PTOs on board buying salad bars for us, it just kind of snowballed. Between the marketing that Live Well had and um, the scratch made recipes and my desire to cook food that I would be willing to eat and that would be great for the kids, um, perception started changing and we started getting more and more people and at the end of the first school year when I compared the revenue to the prior school year um, there was an 86.7 percent increase in revenue um, just from the changing the quality of their food and the perception and getting the word out there. I would say our success is starting just making a presence known and people love to eat food and when you're at back to school nights and you're at kindergarten roundups or open gym nights and you have healthy food and healthy snacks that gets people thinking wow what's what's our school how, what, we're, what we have to offer is really an exciting thing you know our participation has grown and you know I see parents at soccer games and they tell me how excited they are they don't have to make lunches anymore um, they're excited that kids are eating fresh fruit and that's available at schools one of the things we did is we invited the um, school officials and um, we did the school board, um, staff, we did um, fire department, local people to come in and eat one of our freshly prepared scratch food items um, that was on the menu. So we invited them for chicken noodle day. Um, very impressed, they were very impressed, they had no idea. Um, that brought the school district people to talk to the other school district people, meaning staff and school board, and so pretty soon it was just like all out there. Um, so that was a really big event for it. Plus we got newspaper coverage. So the newspaper can become your friend. So utilizing them, um, we've developed kind of this rapport, and so she kind of knows where I'm going with what ideas I'm looking at, and um, when I call, she's like, oh, you got another thing to do, you know, and so, um, it's just developing that rapport and then she writes in the way you want them to write you know the, the good things the good things about the program ask for help help is always out there and unless you ask you you know you don't know there's always a parent or student or staff member who's willing to step in and help and we did start a parent advisory group which is gotten off to a slow start but you know one at a time we'll we'll get there it, it's really great when we have conversations with parents or staff members and there's kind of this aha moment that they realize that we have some of the same goals in mind we just didn't realize it you know so so to have those aha moments with people and it's like oh they are trying to do something good and and I support that if you're the size of district like I am um, sometimes you get overwhelmed and um, live well has so much to offer um, the training with the chefs and 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 rainy with the marketing ideas and Beth with the financial stuff um, it seems like it's overwhelming and sometimes you just think, oh, I have to do another call because you have so much day-to-day -day stuff to do. But I think what I would say to them is just take a deep breath, stop and think about it, and just do it. Just do it. Um, marketing especially. You know, listen to the help that you're getting. Take advantage of all those things that they're offering you. When are you going to have another opportunity? <laughs> you know, just do it. It's good for your program.